your Monday Night RX Cut Agent webinar. Thank you for joining us tonight. A lot of people are uh, still logging in, so uh, we'll give them a second or two. Uh, just to let you know, uh, we've gone from uh, WebEx to uh, GoToWebinar.com, I think a, a much more uh, robust service with a lot of bells and whistles. So I just want to give you a heads up. This is a listen only on your end, uh, but you certainly can contact us during the uh, webinar this evening. If you have a question, you should have a dashboard that looks something like this. Uh, anytime you have a question, you can type it in here, hit send, and I'll be checking it periodically through the webinar. And as we wrap things up, I'll check it one more time to make sure I've addressed anyone's questions. So feel free to, uh, to type in anything you'd like. If you have a question about the back office or really anything about our business, I've got no problem answering that tonight. I uh, certainly appreciate you taking time out of your Monday evening. <clears throat> this is probably going to be a tad longer than our normal you know, 12 to 15 minute calls because we have a, a lot to cover with our back office, which happens to be uh, the most comprehensive in the industry. Uh, let's see if I can drag this over here and get it started. Okay, <clears throat> this is your main page of your agent back office. Hopefully you've all seen this multiple times. <laughs> and what we're going to do tonight is, is basically walk through this. Um, so become familiar with all the links and all the tools that we have back here. Uh, first and foremost, um, when you want to order cards, you have to select group because some people have multiple group numbers and legacy folks have some old RAC numbers. And in order to order, order the right cards, you want to make sure that everyone is ordering the cards for, this, for the correct group. Um, up top here, uh, under account, a lot of people have problems remembering their passwords. So if you click on account, you can actually change your password right here and click update. Uh, if you want to change it to something with a PIN number or something you're very familiar with and not have to remember that uh, long and arduous PIN number or, or a password that we give you, you have the option to do that there. Contact us. Uh, if you have any question uh, at all, uh, this is one way to get it to us. Of course, you have my phone number, my email address. Uh, but you can simply type your name and your email address, your phone number, and narrow it down uh, to a question or click other. Type in your comments, hit send. I will be copied and respond to that, but also anyone uh, that may have brought you in will be copied on that as well. Uh, you can get back to the main site two ways. One, with dashboard, and the other way is by clicking on main over here. So let's start here and we'll work our way over. Oh, for the new folks, these little links here are extremely important. I always tell people, if I had training available to me like we had today when I started, I would have made money six months earlier <laughs> rather than doing foolish things and, and learning by my mistakes. If you follow the directions, it's, uh, it's a blueprint for your success. You can't fail. If you can go through these videos and go through them more than once because sometimes it doesn't sink in the first time, uh, get through them, get to know them, and you'll have a lot of success in this business. Uh, and also, just a little hint or a tip here. I've done this several times myself. When you play a video, um, rather than close it out, hit the back button to get back to the main page. If you X out that page, you'll close out your session and you'll have to log in all over again. So from any of these videos, once they get done playing, all you got to do is hit the back button to get to the main page. All right. Getting started, basically, it's just a brief overview of our business model, what differentiates us uh, from some of our competitors, and, and a little bit about our card. Marketing. Useful information, uh, creating contact lists and tips on working the business, basically. Um, you should have gone through this if you've been with us for some time, but it's never too late. They don't expire, so feel free at your leisure to go through these to pick up some nice little hints here. Online resources. Lead generation. This is pay for leads, and some of these are very inexpensive. Then we have social media, which we've paid a lot of attention on and focused on in some of our past trainings. And then we've got blog marketing tools. I don't think we have many bloggers on board, but I'll tell you what, if you get a following, you can really have people uh, going to your site uh, in, in a rapid way. And then website advertising. These are all free sites. Craigslist, everybody's familiar with Backpage. There's a couple others, though, that are worth putting uh, maybe an add-in for your recruiting efforts or to get your card out there or to explain how our Get Benefit Relief programs work. Now, we'll be spending a little time here. It, it doesn't look like much until you start opening up these folders. Uh, but this is the most comprehensive library, bar none, in the entire industry. Let me just check to make sure there are no questions yet. Nope. 
We'll start with GVR, and it doesn't look like much until you start opening up these folders into subfolders. The first, individual and employer enrollment forms. Now, the only way an, uh, an employer or an employee group can enroll is through paper forms. We don't have that available online, at least not yet. It's something maybe we're looking at next quarter to roll that out. Uh, but for the employer, um, they have really uh, either four separate enrollment plans or the one plan where they could just check off. And just to let you know, these forms, uh, once you download them and save them to your computer, you have to save them to your computer first, they are editable. And where you'd want to edit is where it says um, group number. And these have to be filled out online as well. They're not online, but you can actually fill them out on your computer and print them off. So this would be for a single form of payment. You go into a small employer group, maybe 15 employees, and the employer says, you know what, I think this is great. I think it's worth you know, the $12.95 per month to provide a wow benefit to my employees. I'll pay for it. Or if the employer says, I'll pay a portion, or let's see if the employees want it, and we'll do voluntary payroll deduction. As long as it comes in as a single form of payment, that will be considered employer paid, even if the employee were to be paying a portion of that. The rest of these are just the individual plans, pretty much the same as that, but they're specific to you know, the services. Um, and any time you actually hit that main folder again, it'll, it'll actually close back up, because this can, can get rather long if you just keep opening up folder after folder. Employee and individual, well, this is the employee enrollment form, and it's in English and Spanish. Things are loading a little slowly this evening, so bear with me. Okay, uh, so the plan will be checked off. They fill out their information, and there's really no need for dependent information. They're going to get two cards good for the whole family unless they're requesting additional cards, and I think they're, I think they come out to either two dollars or a dollar a piece. I don't quite know the answer to that question, but I can find out. Okay, and these are all the dental, vision. Um, select and plus programs. And then we have, well, I'll close this up, the marketing flyers. Now, this is something you want to download to your computer. You want to save it. Then you want to go back in and edit. Once you save it to your computer, you can put your name here. You can put your telephone number, your email address, and your website address as well as your group number. That will be your RXN number. That is your promo code. That way, if these are faxed in, they'll automatically roll to you. You'll get credit. Of course, you do know that you have your own Get Benefit Relief site, which can link right from your RX Cut site. So if individuals enroll that way, they automatically roll to you, and you get the credit. There are three different forms of logos. If you wanted to create a signature for your email or create letterhead, there's a JPEG, as well as a PDF as well as a TIFF. And that one downloaded, so I have to open it. Now it's going to open in six seconds. There's also a PowerPoint presentation. There's your TIFF. PowerPoint presentation is very comprehensive. Uh, if you're calling on groups, it might be a good idea to have this uh, printed out as a handout or you can actually present this on an over, overhead or on a webinar just like this. <clears throat> we do a lot of presentations here at corporate, and we use this as a guide. And it's got an overview of the contents, overview of the plan, and it breaks down each plan, including the benefits, the features, including the vision, dental, what's in the select, and, of course, the PLUS program, which is the one you want to certainly focus on because that's the best bang for the dollar. It has the most benefits, and everything in that plan was crafted to really address the gaps created by health care reform. The nice part about this, once you save it to your computer, you can customize this as well. It tells about the prescription card. You put your website address in here, www.rxcut.com forward slash and your RXN number, and save that. And then you actually have areas where you can edit here and put your contact information if there's a leave behind. That's your, your Get Benefit Relief folder. Then we'll move on to RxCut. 
under our account, we have marketing flyers. <clears throat> of all the flyers, uh, the one that gets uh, the most attention and, and seems to be the one that people connect with most is the Equalizer. This was updated uh, late last year. We have a new version coming out this week with, uh, I think, pricing from February. But at the end of the day, um, these prices right here, let me see if I can blow this up a little bit. Every one of these examples are true transactions, and every one of our prices was under $10. So any of these would beat a $10 copay, which is actually a low price for a copay today. The average is approaching $20, because with health care reform, the average copay in just the last year has gone up about 34%. So this form basically states that, hey, it doesn't matter if you have insurance. If you have a generic copay, $10 or higher, try our card. You've got nothing to lose. You're guaranteed the lowest price. No insurance? <laughs> You better use our card because it may be the difference between you being able to afford your medication and not. Once you download this a flyer and save it to your computer or your desktop, you can go back in, edit it with your contact information and website address, and also put your website address here and your group number and member ID and save it. You can use this as an attachment to an email, and it will have your card right here. People can actually just print this out and use this as a regular card. There's also a decision-making flyer, member flyer, frequently asked questions. This is probably the second most used flyer and the one, I guess, uh, very relevant because it answers the typical questions everyone has. What is a pharmacy discount card? Where is it accepted? You know, how much savings can I uh, realize from this particular card? This one's taking its time loading, so let me go back to that. And... <clears throat> Our press release, that came out a few years ago when we launched our Equalizer program, meaning that uh, our program now works for those who have prescription benefits. The one I'd like to use is this one here. It actually describes the difference between our card and all the other PBM-based cards out there, the type of program, the pharmacy discount levels. And actually, this is kind of low right now, as you'll see. Since we changed processors, our average savings is about 41%. So we've gotten even better uh, with deeper discounts. And it really goes down to explain the difference between our card and basically everyone else's down there. So if you're in a competitive situation and somebody's looking at another card, this is a really good tool to use. There's the frequently answered question, or frequently asked questions, I should say. So this is definitely worth printing out. You can actually put your website address in right here um, if you're going to hand it out or email it to someone. The one document back here that we update on a pretty regular basis just blows me away every time I look at it. Uh, and we have it in both PDF and Excel format. If you haven't seen this yet, uh, you definitely want to take a look at it. It looks absolutely unrealistic. It doesn't want to open in Excel. Close that out. And I'll try the... Uh, PDF version. This was one month worth of transactions. What we did is we sorted the transactions for the month as a group, and I sorted them by highest percentage of savings first. So we have savings that was almost 97%. It, it doesn't even look real. The retail price for this particular medication is $290.99. The member paid $9.31 save $281.68. And this story continues right down the top 100. And I think we have a total down below. Yeah, so the retail cost for these 100 medications would have been almost $26,000. Our cardholders paid under $2,000, save $24,000, an average of 93%, or over $240 per script in savings. Now, if that doesn't impress you and open up your eyes, nothing will. So if you're looking to distribute our card to an organization, this is a great sheet to carry around and keep in your uh, binder. Uh, it definitely will open some eyes. And we also have the ArcCut logo. Once again, if you want to use this for letterhead or if you want to uh, use this in a, a salutation of an email, you can actually plop it in there and obviously you want to shrink that a little bit because I think it would be larger than your email. But you can play with it once you paste it into uh, an email client. From here we have PET, and 
We have, oh, this is what the pet card looks like. Uh, you can actually order these with your group number. If you're looking at working pet-related businesses like groomers or pet supply stores, they work exactly the same way as the normal card does. It just has more of a, of a pet feel to it. So if you want to place that order in your back office, then basically you would just uh, uh, stipulate that under special instructions for pet cards or pet graphics. There's a pet select, select in English. While that's loading, uh, one thing I do want to mention is let me just pick one group here. When you pick the group, card production pops up. And for those of you who ordered your initial round of cards and are looking to maybe restock them, you would go in the same way you did when you ordered your initial uh, uh, card placement. If you wanted to change the program name or the website address, if you have your own domain, you can certainly do that and update it and it appears immediately on the card. When you place your card order, you put the amount in that you're looking to order. Uh, once again, if you wanted pet cards, you would put them in special instructions. Once you hit order, after you approve the front and the back, of course, because it won't go through without. It says your cards have been ordered, but it's not really placed. You still have to place it physically here. If it's not in your initial order, you want to click the Pay Now button, and that basically will take you to a secure payment page, where you check that off. Your group number is auto-populated. Uh, special instructions, you can also mention in here, pet graphics if you're looking for pet cards. Okay, there's the pet slick. Once again, you can download it and customize it. Put your website address in there to make sure that they're going to print cards. It's your card they're printing. Back to the library. So that's pet. And you've probably seen this already. Nonprofits. Uh, I just had a call from someone who's been with us for almost six months <laughs> and said, would we have any for nonprofits? And I said, really? <laughs> When's the next time you're in your back office? So for nonprofits, we have a great flyer. Uh, and this was just uploaded uh, not too long ago, but it shows some of our larger logos that we deal with. Uh, fundraising was never this easy. And it just it basically talks about the merits and upside of a nonprofit using our card for a form of community outreach as well as the best fundraiser in the world. There's a W-9 in here. Uh, even though they're nonprofit, they still have to fill out the W-9, but they would just check off tax exempt. Um, we also have logo requirements. Uh, we'll brand your site for free, but this form basically tells what exactly the requirements are in uh, order to be able to use that logo as a high-res copy, because if we get a, just a copy from their website, their logo is not going to work. It has to be 300 dots per inches or 300 DPI, and we'll take it in any format, um, AI included, uh, uh, Adobe uh, Illustrator, EPS, TIFF, JPEG, even PDF, as long as it is 300, as it's 300 DPI uh, in quality. Because we put it into a system that blows it up, and if it's not very good quality, it looks terrible, and we're not going to put out a trashy product. Um, nonprofits have their own agreement. However, you don't need to have a paper agreement. Uh, if you're bringing on a nonprofit, uh, you'll just have them type uh, on the registration page of your business opportunity site the letters NPO as far as nonprofit organization, unless they're ordering cards, and then they'll type in legacy. If they type in NPO, there'll be no payment, but they definitely want to order cards. So if they type in legacy, they'll only be prompted to pay the $50 uh, for the cards. That's it. Uh, we do everything else for free. We'll put the graphics on their website, the headers, and customize their card and get them a proof before we actually um, uh, before we actually order the cards to make sure they approve it. So we also have an intro letter for nonprofits. And you can use this in as much or as little as you want, but there's some good verbiage here that can get the attention of someone. A lot of times when I was working nonprofits, I'm not going to drive around. I put a list together and started calling, and I was able to get a decision maker, send them some information, including that nonprofit flyer, uh, information about the card and the voluntary benefit programs as well, GBR, send it to them and then follow up. 
And with that, we also have, uh, in, in many of these sections, we have the contact list, which basically we put together so you can stay, you can actually put all the information here. It's not, no, hold on a second. You can put the name, the address, the contact, phone number, email, date, comments, and next contact. Just keep it organized is the word I was looking for before. If you're going to put a list together, you put them in here, and then you start dialing for dollars. And every time you have a conversation with someone, you can uh, use the comment section as far as when you're supposed to follow up next. If you're going to work this, this program and this business for any length of time, I certainly advise you being organized, and this is a great way to do it. Next, my favorite heading, healthcare. Um, this is probably the best piece I've ever seen. It was written by one of our distributors who happened to be a consultant uh, for healthcare. Uh, he was able to get two health systems just by putting this out there on his LinkedIn account. It'll take a few seconds to open as well. Uh, once again, there's a contact list spreadsheet. So you can, for healthcare providers, you can create that contact list. And with this document, basically it says how healthcare professionals handing out our card can benefit not only their patients but their practice as well. This is really cool. If you click here, you can actually first save a picture of your card front uh, from your website. You right click it and, and click save as. And then you can actually load that right here and then put your contact information here and save it. You have to download it and save it first. But this is a great piece. Uh, to carry or to send if you're working uh, healthcare professionals. Letter of introduction. Uh, once again, it's a great way to get someone's attention. If you've had an initial conversation with them and you're sending them an email, you want to use that as a uh, as an attachment. And there's also a script for working with healthcare professionals. Insurance agents, which I know we have some on the phone tonight. Uh, GVR compensation agreement. Uh, there's a lot of uh, individuals who are insurance people that aren't interested in handing out the cards, or maybe they'll just hand your cards out, but they certainly can be interested in working Get Benefit Relief because at those price points, there's nothing like it out there at all, and it gives them really uh, another value add in a business that they're directly related to, and we even have a script for them. The last piece I want to touch on in the library is social media, and we spent a couple of weeks going through these trainings. Uh, that's the wave of the future, folks. That's why we have that new mobile card that you can download to your phone. This is the year where um, internet browsing on mobile devices will surpass that of computers. So everything's going in the way of mobile, and with that, social media is exploding. Um, there's information in here about how to create accounts on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Facebook, and then some lesser known but up and coming social media sites as well. How you can use it for lead generation, and even more tips on social media marketing. If you haven't become familiar with these documents, spend a little time. Um, it doesn't take much time to go through these. Maybe you want to go through one or two a week. That's fine. But the more proficient you can get at this, the more information you can read, the more comfortable you're going to be working in this business. And now we'll get to my favorite section, reports. Let me, these are one of several logins that I have. So hopefully it doesn't take too long to do this. But there's really two ways to pull reports on you and your downline. Uh, one way is look at claim detail, and I'll just pull a couple of days where it will take forever to load. I'll run that report. <coughs> so I selected the 12th through, I guess, the 15th. I don't know of any other provider in our space that offers their agents total top-down visibility like we do. Most send a spreadsheet once a month, if that, telling them basically how many transactions they've had. Uh, and I always say, if you can't see it every day, it ain't real. So every morning, unless there's a glitch in the system, and we've had that uh, since we've gone to our new processor, on occasion uh, the files come over corrupted, or we have to reload them, or there's a loss of connection. But it gives you the total details of the transaction, including the group number, the group name, the date filled, whether it was paid or reversed. Paid means we adjudicated the claim. Reversed means it was a price check. Whether the drug name, brand or generic, quantity, 
day supply, you would see, folks, means that the cash price was as good or better than ours. So in that case, we don't win, but the cardholder does. We don't invoice the pharmacy. This particular case was 72.66% uh, savings at Winn-Dixie. That's a, a chain of supermarkets down south. The retail price was 30.99. The member paid 8.47 and saved 22.52. Uh, one thing I like to play with, and this is how we pull our top 100. Uh, we'll do this on a, on a, on a bi-monthly basis, and I guess next month we'll update that and have a new one coming in. So it'll take a second to upload. In the meantime, let me see if we've got any questions here. When will Florida open up for GVR? Good question. I know they're working on it. Uh, we don't have a time frame on that. Um, but that's definitely a state we want to be in because there is a lot of need for it in the state of Florida. But the compliance uh, rules there are just really make it tough to do business. Is there a policy fee for every person on a group? Is there a policy fee on, on for every person in the group? Frank, I don't really understand that one. You might want to retype that. Does this flyer come in a threefold browser? Yeah. Actually, you can uh, call in tomorrow, Pam, if you want a trifold. Uh, we can certainly order those for you. Can you do a pet card online? No, you can't do an online pet card. Uh, you need a special website for that. Do we earn the same commissions on dental programs if they get the group rate? Uh, there actually, there is no group rate for a dental plan. It's only $5.95 for the entire family. <laughs> That's something that Aetna sells for $19, $19 and change, for an individual and $24 um, for, um, for family coverage. Now, the only break there is on group rates are for the PLUS program. You can take it from uh, $12.95 down to $9.95 uh, only when you need to, but then again, it's going to affect your commission. You're going to lose, uh, you're going to be on the $2, and there has to be a minimal amount of people that you can't do it for two, two people. I would keep it 10 and over. Where do you see your GVR sales? That's something we can't report. We can't give you uh, information on individuals. That would be a HIPAA issue. When you do have GVR sales and you get a check because you've reached your minimal, I think it's $20 in payment, uh, you'll get a report showing how many sales you have on what programs, whether it be PLUS, whether it be dental. And there will be a Spanish form for pharmacy benefits with Rx cut. Great question. I'll see if we can get that done. Okay. One ninety five per person service fee. That would be okay, that would be the one time charge. That's um, for per plan. So if the family ordered one GBR plan. There's one package going out with two plastic cards, so that's that's per uh, that's per plan. Now, if it's 20 employer group, yes, it's 20 times four dollars and 95 cents. <clears throat> However, they can opt to get it electronically at no charge. However, I strongly advise against that because if they have to print out a paper card, folks, it just doesn't have that same perceived uh, value as that true plastic hard plastic card they get. We get benefit relief. It's not like our discount card, which is high quality, which is a laminated cardboard card. They get a true plastic card like an insurance card. Um, all right, the sorting is done. Uh, these are real transactions that just happened in the last week. There's a drug. The retail price was $804. Our member paid under 13, saved $791.12. That's absolutely ridiculous. And look at all these percentages. Look at the retail cost. Look at this one here, $1,570. The member paid 110 and saved 1,460 dollars. That's absolutely outrageous, but it's true. I mean, these are true transactions, and unfortunately, folks, that's what happens today. People are getting ripped off all the time, uh, whether they're insured, whether they're not, and that's guess what? That's what we're here for. Um, well, we kept it right at a half an hour. Um, that's your agent back office, the most comprehensive bar none in the industry. Become familiar with it, visit it often, view and review training videos. 
and get familiar with the marketing collateral and various documents and eventually you'll be excited to log in every morning to view all your transactions and anyone's transactions under you who you bring in. But just remember, you can train all you want. Attend all of our calls and webinars every week, go over all the documents in your back office, but you won't make a dime or help anyone unless you apply yourself and get out there and work your business. Get rid of all your cards and reorder another batch of cards. Approach larger opportunities. You can't just hand them out to one person all day, every day. You've got to start, move, start moving up market. Whether it be in healthcare, insurance, nonprofits, pet-related businesses, or all the above and more. Questions, advice, brainstorming, that's what I'm here for, folks. So lean on me if you truly want to be successful and would like some help. Our transaction volume continues to grow in leaps and bounds, but guess what? We need to take that to the next level. Let's get busy and knock it out of the park. The work you do today will benefit you for years to come with residual, residual income, that is. Folks, appreciate your time. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. And remember, um, your webinar information that you logged in with tonight is the same moving forward unless we change our format into just a call. So save that somewhere and we'll probably put that into your back office as a reminder as well. Thanks for your time tonight, folks. Have a great night and awesome week. Let's make some money and help some people. Take care.